the morning, 8.09. Ah, it's a beautiful day again. So, the story about being kicked off of Judy, jury duty. I'm going to try to speak more clearly because I, I, <clears throat> I know I ramble and I talk really fast and I have a strange accent for some people so maybe they don't understand what I'm saying. So I'm going to try to go slower and talk more clearly. Okay, so I got called in to jury duty in Brentwood Court, New Hampshire, and I was like, oh, I was like, this is cool. I was like, I've never, I don't think I've ever served on jury duty. So, <clears throat> so I was kind of excited. People don't like jury duty, but I love um, justice and I love solving crime and anything like that. So I looked at it as like a learning experience. And I was like, oh, this is going to be a great learning experience, you know, see how, and I love watching the court. I've always been a court watcher. Um, so, so I go in, it was very hectic, uh, getting there on time and stuff. I forget why, but, uh, it was just really stressful to always like be, I had to, you know, dress up, show up on time. It was like, it was like, now I know how lawyers feel. But anyways, um, so they go in there, they pick this girl for the foreman, okay, for the jury. They do all the jury selection, blah, blah, blah. People make their excuses. They get out of it, this whole deal, like picking the jury. And um, so they pick all the jury members, and they pick this girl for the foreman. And then we go in the room, and, well, she was just being a little bit, like, aggressive to people. And um, so, like, I think people were afraid to say their opinion or something, but, like, she wouldn't let people talk, and I'm just witnessing all this stuff. They were talking about the guys. It was a case, um, oh, let me clarify this. It was a case for insurance fall. So the guy worked at Raytheon, and he, he said, and he said he fell on a rug that wasn't fixed at an apartment complex, okay? So they were trying to determine if he was, you know, if it was fixed, if it wasn't fixed, if it should have been fixed, if that's the reason why he, fought, he fell, because it wasn't fixed correctly, you know, stuff like that. So, so anyhow, so they go through this whole big long thing. And I'm very expressive with my face. And so I'm probably not a good juror because, like, I'm too, when there's, like, injustice, I, I can't hide it in my face. Or if I find something that, like, if I know somebody's lying or saying something that's not right, I just, it shows on my face. So I was, like, trying to, like have a poker face, which is really hard for me the whole time. And so anyways, we're in the room, this girl, this foreman girl, she got picked twice, which was weird. Um, but anyways, um, so I was like, and now I hear that they do these mock trials in New Hampshire. Like I didn't even know they did that. Um, but one of the selectmen or the head guy or whatever in the meetings for the Senate or whatever, they were saying that they do mock trials. And I was like, was this like a mock trial? I don't know. It felt fake, it felt really fake. So anyways, so we go into the room. She's being aggressive, okay? And she's, like, not letting people talk. And there was two people, there was two women that were sitting at the end of the table with me. And I'm, like, they would say something different. And she would be, like, you know, every single time somebody had an opinion, she'd shoot it down. And anyway, so I was, like, finally I spoke up. And I was, like, well, other people, you know, have the right to their opinion. And, you know, I was, like, every time somebody tries to talk, I'm, like, you kind of cut them off. And, you know, you're trying to control the whole room. I forget what led up to it, but she was, she was like giving me dagger eyeballs. Like I always get the dagger eyeballs, like who's this chick and why is she talking all the time? So anyway, so she's like, I'm going to call. Finally, she get, I don't know what I said that really pissed her off, but she's like, I'm going to call the, it was probably a setup, but she's like, I'm going to call the ju the judge's chamber. So I was like, go right ahead. I was like, you know how long I fought in this court? I fought for two children in this court that were homeless. And being neglected and uh yeah i took custody of two children in this court so i was like bring it you know i'm like i'll go into the uh, judges i'm not even doing anything wrong i'll go in the judges chambers right so it's judge anderson so uh, i'm not saying anything wrong. anyways um so judge and so i go in there and he's like well what were you doing and i was like well i was just in trying to interpret the law because you're not supposed to read up on you're not supposed to read up about the case or do anything or talk to anybody about it like i know what the rules are for the jury right but there was like one statue or one law or something that he was saying from the bench that didn't sit right with me so i was just trying to interpret the law like the statue or whatever it was i was just trying to interpret it because i didn't understand it and that's all i was doing 
I have every right to try to, like, I have every right to try to understand a law. Like, read a law or a statute and try to understand it. I have every right to do that. But anyway, so I guess I was, I was, they just wanted me off of there. They didn't like me. They were targeting me. I don't freaking know. But he was like, okay, well, he's like, wait outside. So the God brings me to the side room, all right, and make me wait in there. And I'm like, what the hell? So then the, after a while, the, um, the God comes in and he goes, oh, you're being let go off a jury, dude. I was like, me? I'm like, I'm the only one that's getting, I'm like, all these people are talking about the guy's wife. They're talking about, like, stuff that's not even, like, relevant to the case <clears throat> and everything. And I was like, okay, fine with me because it's, like, bullshit. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to be part of bullshit. So I was just like, okay, fine. And I walked out. I walked out. I had to go by. All the gods were lined up in a row. I swear to God, it was like eight of them, and they're all lined up as I went out the courtroom, like, lined up all together in a row. As I walked by them, I was just shaking my head like, wow. Yeah, so I get kicked off jury duty. How many people do you know that got kicked off a of jury duty? I didn't even do anything. I was just speaking up and saying my opinion, and I got kicked off a of jury duty. So that was a little strange, but I was... That was when I was a geoengineering activist, and I was, like, telling everybody about it. And actually, they were spraying that day over the courthouse. <laughs> I was pointing it out every time. I was talking to a guy in the in the parking lot about it and everything. So, um, yeah, kicked off a of duty, 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 yay.